to you all, and uh, we're still coming to you live from our home, and we're awaiting uh, tomorrow's uh, Hoima Women MP by-election here. And everything is set. At the moment, we are at the Electoral Commission offices here in Hoima District, where you can see uh, the polling materials are already here, and uh, most of the polling agents are here to verify whatever is going on. And uh, later on, as I told you earlier, we shall be having a meeting with the chairperson of the Electoral Commission who will be uh, giving us an update on what's happening. So right now, the polling materials are here, the boxes are here, and uh, we can see the seals, uh, every box here has the name of the parish polling station sub-county, and as well as uh, the seal cause, if the box is tampered with, then that one is, uh, uh, is null. But at the moment, I'm going to be joined by uh, the spokesperson of the electoral commission, that's uh, Mr. Jotham Terima, who is going to be giving us an update of really what's happening and how prepared they are for tomorrow's by-election. Good afternoon, Jotham. Good afternoon, Ali. Yes, and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Yes, now, just give us a brief of what's happening at the moment and how prepared are you for tomorrow's election? As you already noted, all our polling kits for the 266 uh, polling stations in Hoima, uh, they, they arrived, they are here. And as you can hear from the background, we have been in a meeting, uh, briefing, having a final briefing for our field supervisors at sub-county and the parish levels, uh, looking through the routing plan, how shall we be distributing these materials, uh, which sub-counties are we going to begin with and for what reasons, especially those that are far need to take the first priority. Uh, then the, uh, the dispatch, then the retrieval in the evening, the logistical arrangements that are in place, um, the preparedness of the police constables to ensure that um, they are here on time. We expect every, uh, every supervisor and constable to be here at 4 a.m. in the morning. And even the candidates' agents, the observers at liberty to come and witness uh, our dispatch and distribution of these materials. So we are set and, and, and good to go. Okay, now uh, for the voters. Uh, for instance, I'm a voter. What am I supposed to come with uh, when I, I come to vote tomorrow? Um, well, if I am a voter on the National Voters Register for Hoima, tomorrow I hope most of them go to their voter location slips or they have their national IDs. But even if you don't have a national ID and you don't have a voter location slip, as long as you are on the National Voters Register, you can still go to your polling station and present yourself. We look you up in the register. We, uh, the register has your picture, has your voting details, and there is a number we will extract from the register to put in our biometric voter verification machine, we verify you and we allow you to go and vote. But now, as you, you can see, that will be time consuming. So it's better if you have a national voters register, I mean a national ID card, or you have a voter location slip to come with it and present it. It will be easier for you. Okay. Then lastly, what are some of the do's and don'ts around the polling centers tomorrow? Uh, well, first of all, uh, if you are, you are done voting, then you don't have to keep around disrupting people. You can uh, step away some distance and keep waiting if you want to wait. But uh, there is no need for you to keep around. But if you wish, you can keep around. Secondly, we don't expect people who are drunk and with alcohol to come and uh, join the lines to vote. Uh, if you want to drink, uh, no problem, but either drink before or after, but come when you are peaceful and you are in, in your right sense to come and cast your vote. Um, our appeal is that the um, campaign has ended successfully. Uh, Hoima will stay even after this by-election. So the voters need to exercise uh, calmness and, uh, and, 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 and be peaceful in voting. We want a peaceful process tomorrow. Like I've already mentioned, for us as Electoral Commission, we have done everything possible to ensure that we have a smooth voting process. But the players, the candidates, their agents, the media, the observers, the voters themselves, each of us needs to play his role tomorrow or her role tomorrow uh, in accordance with the law and ensure that we leave Hoima in a peaceful state and leave it uh, 
a united district. For us as electoral commission, whoever comes through, we shall declare that will be the people's choice. Okay, thank you very much, Jotham. You're most welcome. Okay, that's uh, Jotham Terema, the spokesperson of the Uganda Electoral Commission. Uh, just to give you a reminder, voting uh, is tomorrow, and uh, the race is between NRM's uh, Harriet Mugini and uh, FDC, FDC's uh, uh, Nyakato Asinansi. So tomorrow she'll be giving you more updates as they unfold here in Hoima district. It's the Hoima Women MP by election. For now, Ali Mivlan, my team, back to you in studio, Romeo.